If you are overly perfectionist with the things you're trying to do, you probably are not getting anything done right now. Take it from me, I am the same. <laughs> I'm stuck for the past two months trying to get some shit done. I have just been rotting. I have not done any of the shit that I promised myself and the people around me to do. I realized something today though. It's just a question of framework. You have the perfectionist framework, which is usually I need to learn everything in detail on how to get this thing done, right? The little details so that when I do it, it's perfect and it's wonderful. But the thing is, there's so many things that you're going to always try to branch out into more little branches so much that at the end of the day, you end up just being frozen. You're not doing anything. And chances are, it's actually so discouraging that you feel so frozen and you just don't actually want to do it anymore and that's usually when you start giving up on your projects or that's when you start giving up on a class you're trying to learn right if you're an overly perfectionist person and you're trying to learn this class you're trying to learn every little thing about every little chapter at the end of the day you're not doing it efficiently and you actually have a worse grade than your classmate because you gave yourself too much of a task with too little time and you end up failing the class this is exactly what happened with me for my vibrations class i wanted to learn every little thing and I ended up just doing badly because I didn't have time to do any of the practice problems. And same thing with me right now trying to build my startup. I'm overly obsessed with trying to understand every little details about how to do the accounting properly, uh, how the legal stuff work, the contracts, the paperwork, the incorporation process, how equity should be divided, how equity works in the first place. All of these little things, but really what I should be focused on probably with a startup is what's the big marketing strategy, how all of these pieces are going to connect together. And then it's a question of outsourcing to the right person for, for some of the tasks, but I want to take care of everything everything by myself and at the end of the day I told myself two months ago that I'm gonna be working on this startup there's been some progress but the progress is probably the 100 of how much it should have progressed so it's a question of framework now the question is what is this framework after some meditation I realized there's two ways to go about this situation the first framework you can use is just the minimum viable product framework. What's the minimal amount of things that you need to do to get this shit done? Even though it's not the highest quality, but you're delivering. At the end of the day, it's better to actually get something done than to never ever get it done. The second framework, just trying to understand the areas where you're trying to improve, right? What, what are you lacking right now? Target those things. You're gonna learn most of the things you need to learn to get this done and hit again the minimum valuable product. Once that's done, and the second way might be more interesting for when you're studying a course, right? What's this chapter that you you kind of find confusing? You don't need to start from the beginning every single time when you're studying for a class. You can just specifically look at the topics and the formulas that's confusing you. That's going to save you a lot of time. The only reason why people are not necessarily doing that all the time is they fear chaos, right? They want order in their, their brain. They want to feel like they're starting from the beginning and you're doing it step by step until the very end. That's exactly what's going on in my mind all the time when I'm studying for a course. So I love usually to just start from the beginning and then do chapter by chapter, even the things I know that I understand already. It's great if you have time. It's not great when you don't have time. And most of the time, you don't have time. So when you don't have time, you can't be doing this. I just keep falling into that hole though, right? It's like a siren calling me. It, that siren is like, you want to study that class in its entirety, even though you only have a day left. And I just feel like I can do it, even though clearly it's physically not possible. So you can't fall into that trap. You need to just focus on the things you need to work on. Don't focus on the things you already know. So the two frameworks, the first one, I call it the MVP framework, minimum viable product framework. The other one is just the framework where you're working on the areas you need to improve. I just don't want you to live with regrets, right? Sometimes years will pass by and you will not have done anything because of perfectionism. I just want you to feel happy because I know that you getting something done will make you feel happy. That's an achievement. Think about it this way. Organic chemistry tutor. He's got a very simple setup, but at the end of the day, he's delivering quality. You don't care about the fancy animations in his videos. You just care about him teaching you 
the formula you need to understand. Today, I learned how to edit videos on DaVinci Resolve. I procrastinated on learning how to use this software because of how complicated and intimidating it looked for a whole month now because I thought I needed to understand how, what every single little button on the software does. Realistically, I just needed to put videos together, quickly understand some transitions, how to put a title, how to export the videos properly, and that was really it. If you're going with these two frameworks in life, working on anything, studying for a course, working on your business, starting a little music career, trying to get anything done, learning any skill, you're gonna get way more things done than just being a perfectionist. I'm going to try to apply, as of today, the same advice I just told you here. I'll see you on the other side, and may all of your endeavors be uh, completed successfully using these two frameworks.